All right, so I see I'm going to have to continue to video dialogue because certain certain topics for me, I, I just need to talk it out instead of attempting to put the thoughts in, in writing. And this is for John and uh, Shady Face or something. Excuse me, I apologize that um, I don't have your name well fully in front of me where I can provide more of a correct pronunciation. Yeah, John Face Crooks, Spady Spun. What kind of name is what kind of name is all of that anyway? It's like that's interesting to me. And so with a name like that and some of the commentary that um, is coming up, as well as the offensiveness of referring to me as a bro, when um, it's very clear that I am not a quote-unquote brother, because that seems to be a shortened statement for bro, and I found it a bit offensive and off-putting and intended to, you know, cause harm. That is a way of thinking that is evil, where people here in America could cut, and many people of African descent, unfortunately, has been infected with that virus, that European viral infection. That is the tendency to lie about and misrepresent truth. And you know, John, face crook. So you are a face crook. Is that right? Does that mean the face that you are representing you stole from somewhere else and you're really not a, a, a person of African descent? That's what it seems like it appears, if you will. And, you know, again, the primary ideological belief system here in America, where many Africans from the continent are working to get to, the primary ideological belief system is one of white supreme lunacy, white supremacy, a.k.a. white supremacy. That way of thinking is the evil that is in this world. It is part of their culture and their cultural germ seed or a silly. It is just their propensity. That is because... Many of them are de they are despiritualized as a collective, as a people. Um, so for all of those good white people or some of those white people who are not liars, if you will, that you would like to hold up to the Africans to encourage them to come here. It's, you know, people will do what it is they do. You can label and or language my comments, commentary, thoughts, if you will, as hatred all day long. And, you know, I accept it because I do hate white people. I hate the system of racism, white supremacy. I reject European way of thinking and behaving in the world. That is what I hate or reject. The European way of thinking and behaving in the world. And when I talk about the European people, it is very much referencing the collective. I'm not talking about individual white people. And all of them, for me, are racist suspect. It's just for me. Yet, yeah, I'm talking about a whole mindset. I'm talking about a culture. And that is what it is. It's a, it's a cultural trap. You know, because sort of being here in America as an African descendant forces you to be culturally schizophrenic. Your African self as your is life affirming and versus this American identity which is self-destroying. And that is what I would certainly, um, and why, if you will, I work to or would be concerned with having any other African descendant 
uh, get caught up in this mess over here, in this culture, with this sick way of thinking and behaving in the world. Um, that's just for me. So I, I needed to share that, and I'm not I'm not into debating. You know, if you appreciated some of the things that I shared, you you know, you could have just built on that as opposed to working to divert attention away from what was useful that you heard me say. That which was useful that you heard me say, we could have took that and built on it as opposed to getting ready to get into a debate. And maybe we really don't have to get into a debate because I said what I said and you said what you said and I could choose to just leave it alone at that point. Yet. Um, I'm very passionate about this particular topic. I, it, it has a lot of significance and meaning to me. Um, you know, having been enslaved here in America for so long and recognizing um, that we, if you will, are the help that Africa needs to go home and to work with Africans on the continent towards rebuilding, restoring, and reclaiming our true cultural selves and our true cultural story and being able to live that. And, you know, yes, recovery is a process, not an event. And so we are in the midst and in the mix of that process. And, you know, thank you again, John Face Crook, Shady Spady, you know, for listening.